Hi everyone, good morning and welcome back to another video. Today we're gonna do a clean and declutter. Uh, I have about an hour before the baby wakes up, <laughs> so we're just gonna try to get as much done as possible. Keeping it real over here, makeup's not done, hair's still wet, mom life. <laughs> we have a three month old right now, so you know, I just have to make the most of the little free time I have while she naps and spending time putting makeup on, doing my hair. That's not a priority. I'm a very like chill, relaxed person. I normally don't get ready every day anyway, so just keeping it real over here. And let's just get started because the timer is ticking. I might try to do a little more on each during each of her naps, but we'll just see how the day goes because you never know how it's going to be <laughs> when you have a baby. So let's get started. I think in the bedroom might be easiest and then work our way out to living room, kitchen, bathroom, yada yada. First off, bedroom. <laughs> Okay, I just made the bed and I also need to stop starting sentences with okay. <laughs> but I'm going to just look through this bedside drawer real quick. Um, also have gas drops and a syringe right here. So those are for the baby. <laughs> and a pacifier. So they look like clutter but same with this nightlight. They look like clutter but they have to stay out. <laughs> so they're easy access. Um, in this drawer... This goes elsewhere. It's too much humidifier, so I'm gonna take that away. Uh, I might put this in the bathroom for when I take off any jewelry, for when I shower. So that's gonna go somewhere else too. Um, just tags from shorts that can probably go, <laughs> and some paper. So that's all trash. And then, oh, this is a polishing for jewelry so I'll keep that with my little jewelry box here and then not sure what this is but I'll ask Matt and see if we can get rid of it I'm gonna get rid of this it's to my pregnancy pillow and I never used it so that's trash too um, jewelry pouch not sure if there's much else to get rid of little piece of trash uh, don't need this, so I'm just gonna store it. I'll swear. And this is a magic band charger <laughs> for Disney, so that can go elsewhere too. So these uh, need to find a new home, and then a little jewelry box, I think. This just needs to be reattached to the fan, so I'm gonna leave that out too. Everything else we kind of use in here sometimes. Maybe I'll move this to a new home too. This is just like a antique mirror my mom gave me. It's kind of more for decoration, but I don't know. Maybe I'll give it back to her because obviously it just sits in my drawer. Oh, this lotion's expired. I didn't know this should expired, but okay, I guess that can go too. I might pull this out and put it elsewhere. It's, uh, you can use an app to turn this on and off. So whatever you plug into it, you can just turn on and off using this. So might find better use for this elsewhere too. So that's going to go in my move pile. And this belongs to a fan, so that can go elsewhere too. This power bank does not belong in here either, so I'm going to move that. So, yeah, that's about it for this drawer. Easy peasy. That's some good progress so far in the bedroom. Now let's do my bedside table and then check the closet, <laughs> which is like one of my favorite things to declutter. But it's kind of hard right now just because I'm three months postpartum. So like obviously things still, not everything still fits. So it's hard for me to get rid of things fit wise right now. But I might just pull out everything that doesn't fit and pull out things that are like out of season right now to kind of like make my closet a little more minimal and truly only have things in there that I'll wear and use. Okay, sorry, I still kind of have to like figure the lighting out in this bedroom. It's just like so, I don't know, it's crazy with like the angles and the windows. But this is just my pajama drawer. I have like one set of pajamas, two. And then I wore a bunch of these while I was pregnant. But 
it's like pajama shorts because <laughs> my a lot of my bottoms didn't fit but i think i might get rid of them because i don't know do i really need them probably not so i think i might donate them and i have more to donate too i just need to find them so let's get rid of pile the closet's crazy right now i'm not gonna lie but this is a pajama set so this goes in my pajama drawer too so i have like three sets of pajamas two short sleeve one long sleeve nothing crazy and then i'm gonna get rid of some of the hanes boxers because i don't really need them anymore <laughs> and I just, there's too much clutter in my life i haven't decluttered in so long since like getting pregnant moving and then having our baby it's long overdue i don't know i feel like it's like really hard for me right now to get rid of stuff so I'm, like dip my toe back into it because i want to get back into the whole like simple living minimalism it just makes life so much easier getting ready and maintaining stuff cleaning stuff but i fell off the wagon so we're getting back into it <laughs> i'm gonna do like a little time lapse of like pulling out stuff that either i need to try on or i know doesn't fit me or is out of season and then i'll kind of show you all the piles at the end though i may say it i just think that i might have to spell it out for you so This pile is gonna be donate stuff. There's some old slippers, sweatshirt, my pajama shorts, leggings I don't wear often, jeans I never loved, more pajama shorts. Um, so that's donate. I have a couple things that I'm kind of like on the fence about, like some athletic stuff, but that's like mostly what I wear. So I think I'll keep, I actually think I'll put these up and try to wear them if i don't wear them soon then maybe i will finally donate them <laughs> but that's just like a little test to myself okay this pile is stuff that's like not seasonal and then i don't know what to do like i have all these large sweaters that are gonna be like huge on me now but i wore them pregnant so i almost want to like store them in case <laughs> ever decide to like get pregnant again that would be like all of those yeah i'm not sure i'd wear them not being pregnant so those might be like stored in a different box these are some winter pajamas to be stored away some long sleeves so these will be i think all these two piles will be like storage and my winter slippers and then this pile is everything i need to try on so i might take the time to do that now and then show you if I declutter anything else from this pile but this is I mean it's like all my clothes right now um except like jeans and stuff that I know don't those are stored away but just have like some tank tops some nicer tops a couple skirts and then a few dresses which I'm actually try these on to see if I want to keep them and then um, a couple dresses like I said and then a little sweater set and some lighter sweaters for like spring and then I have sweatshirts these are like two nicer bottoms <laughs> athletic shorts and then sweatpants so that's it I mean it's not a lot but it's not not a lot <laughs> if that makes sense and over time i think i'll be able to like trim this down a little bit more plus a little update for my closet and i'm just gonna try these all on and then these are definite poshmark items so i'm gonna start a bag for items to poshmark probably if i don't want to keep any of those i'll do that too that took a while longer than i thought it would but let me show you i just added an extra pair of shorts to donate and then i added an athletic dress and a sweater another athletic dress and this dress for my Poshmark pile but first I'll see if my sister wants any and then Poshmark if nothing sells I'll just donate it 
And then this pile is either out of season or doesn't fit me exactly how I want, but I don't want to get rid of it yet just because it's still only three months postpartum. This pile is everything that's going to go in a new home, and then that's like pregnancy clothes. So that's a little update. Okay, so the bedroom's basically done. I'm just going to put the like pregnancy clothes away, put my other pile of clothes away, hey, clothes away. Start my donate pile and just put that in the kitchen. Baby's gonna wake up soon, gonna feed her, play, spend time together, <laughs> read books. And then when she goes down for her next nap, we'll get back into the clean, decluttering, organizing whole ordeal. I'm just not sure how much I'm gonna get done because it's already noon, so. In a little while and had lunch, then the baby, put her down for a nap. So we have another good chunk of time to try to do a little decluttering. So now we're in the living room and there's not much to declutter in here, but I'm gonna do a little tiny and declutter with you guys in here. decluttering in the past though that like there's not as much to declutter um we still accumulate things so i think every once in a while a little maintenance to clutter like this is good um this is a bunch of our electronics in here and there's not really much to get rid of okay this Flashlight, that should probably go. Uh, that'll be it. So, really, and how much out there to get rid of, except a little <laughs> free flashlight thing, and then probably gonna use these up. So, frees up a tiny bit of space. Now I'm gonna check the two. What do you call them? Not bedside tables, but I don't know. Side table. Why is my brain like blinking? Accent tables? I don't know. Let's go check those and see if there's anything to get rid of. Let's look through this drawer. I'm gonna donate this basket. Don't need it. Put this where it belongs. Same with this. And this is a belly band from being pregnant. So I'm gonna put this with my pregnancy stuff. And then there's really not much left in the drawer. Just some Kindles, uh, my hard drive, and cat brush, and glasses case. Nothing crazy. Last drawer here in the living room. And well, I just put this away, but it's a toy for her just so it's sitting out. And then this is an exercise ball pump, so I'll put that in the basement. Um, there's another Kindle, the hard drive I use. This is a camera, so I'm gonna put this away. It doesn't need to be in here and then put this charger away too so yeah other than that not much in this drawer and nothing to get rid of when the room's done it's like the easiest room i think i want to decide if i want to do the bathroom or the kitchen maybe the kitchen next and then the bathroom but like i said this is a quick declutter because we have limited time today and just, I don't, I don't know, I don't have the time to like go on like a deep dive to clutter, but maybe someday. Probably maybe this summer or something. We'll see. In the kitchen, but most of this is food, so. And we go through food pretty quickly, so I don't think there's anything expired. But, um, I'm just checking to see if there's anything to get rid of. Probably not in here, because everything I use regularly. Nothing wrong with keeping things you use. 
don't forget that. There's a lot in the kitchen, so I think I'm just gonna do a time lapse and then show you guys everything I get rid of, if I find anything to get rid of. Clutter, getting rid of this cookie cutter and these straws because I have glass ones and I like the ones you can see like glass because you can see through it and see if you got all like the smoothie gunk out of it. <laughs> so getting rid of these and then also these two glasses because I just have way too many. I've never used these and yeah. Do I need to explain that more? Probably not. <laughs> now let's move on to the bathroom and the hall closet. <coughs> I don't know what that was. <laughs> supposed to be like a declutter and a tidy so probably gonna clean the kitchen and then see if I have time for anything else so cue a little time lapse of me tidying up <laughs> decluttering later on because <laughs> I just don't have enough time in the day but that being said thank you guys so much for watching and sticking around and I'll see you in the next video bye <laughs>